Hi there boys and girls, welcome to another language arts lesson. Today we will be exploring the topic, the main idea. Now do you know what a main idea is? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to tell me. Let's get right into it. Before we continue, you need to know what is comprehension. I know you have heard this word before. Now, reading comprehension is understanding a text that is read or the process of constructing meaning from a text. Comprehension is a construction process because it involves all of the elements of the reading process working together as a text is read to create a representation of the text in the reader's mind. Here are the objectives we hope to achieve at the end of this lesson. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to define the term main idea and use a variety of strategies to identify the main idea of a text. Now take a look at the screen. What is this picture about? I know that you are eager to give me your responses. Write it down in your books. Now take a look at what is the main idea. The main idea of a paragraph is what that paragraph is about. The rest of the sentences are details that support the main idea. To find the main idea, ask yourself, what is it about? Now that you know what the main idea is all about, now look back at this picture, read the sentence you wrote, and see if it tells you what this picture is about. If it does, then you have just written a sentence that tells the main idea. I have a friend I want to introduce you to. His name is Frank. Take a look. Frank the Hamburger. Look carefully at the hamburger. It has a bun at the top. Then you'll see tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, the hamburger meat, and another bun at the bottom. Now, if I should ask you what is this picture about, it would tell you the main idea. The cheese, tomato, and lettuce represents the supporting details. What are the supporting details? Remember, I have said that these are the sentences that support the main idea. They further explain the main idea. Let's review. It is important to find main ideas when reading. Main ideas help readers remember important information. The main idea of a paragraph tells the topic of the paragraph. The topic tells what all or most of the sentences are about. Now let us examine this paragraph. Alligators are dangerous animals. They are cute when they are small and some people have tried to make them pets. As they grow older, the alligators grow very sharp teeth and gain lots of strength. They are not friendly animals and do not enjoy human company. It is uncommon, but alligators will attack humans. If you see an alligator, by all means, stay away from this dangerous animal. Now, what is the main idea? Why did the author write this paragraph? The writer wants you to know that alligators are dangerous. He tells you that in two places. The first sentence, alligators are dangerous animals, tells 
the main idea. They are not friendly animals and do not enjoy human company. Also tells us that the alligators are dangerous. In the example, you'll notice that the main idea is the first sentence. This usually happens in many paragraphs. Let's practice. Footballers learn many skills when playing football. Football players learn how to dribble and pass the ball. They also learn how to control the ball so they can eventually score. Most importantly, football players learn how to work together with their teammates. Have you discovered the main idea in that passage? Wonderful. Take a look. The answer is football players learn many skills when playing football. By this, I know many of you have gotten the concept main idea. Now, let us go to our story. Remember, we'll be using our grade three reading text. And the story we'll be looking at is the face in the porridge. I will not be reading the entire story for you. However, I'll be reading the first section. Here is it. Every morning, Peter grumbled when he was having his porridge for breakfast. I don't like porridge, he would say. It doesn't taste good. It is too thick, too thick, too thick. And he would sigh and stir, sigh and stir. Hurry up, Mama would say. You will be late for school. But Peter would stir on and on. And as he stirred, he would sigh and say, I don't like porridge. It doesn't taste good. It is too thick, too thick, too thick. Sometimes, he lifted the spoon to his mouth and would slowly push it as far back in his mouth as it would go. Then he would swallow quickly. That way he didn't taste too much of it. Now boys and girls, bear that section of the story in mind as we go through the rest of this lesson. There are several organizers we can use to separate the main idea from the supporting sentences or details. Take a look at this one. It will help you in discovering the main idea and the supporting details from the section of the story I've just read. Take a look. This organizer will help you to separate the main idea from the supporting sentences. Take a minute and do it. Now, look at my organizer. For the main idea, I have Peter does not love porridge. The supporting details or sentences are he says it doesn't taste good. He says it is too thick. Peter sighs and stirs the porridge. And Peter pushes the porridge to the back of his mouth so he does not taste it. Now, boys and girls, I am sure you agree with me that that is the main idea and those are the supporting sentences. Look back at your organizer to see if you did the same thing. If you haven't, make the adjustments. Let us continue with the lesson. For additional information on main idea, your teachers will take you to the site on screen. This will better help you in understanding and identifying the main idea in stories, paragraphs, and articles. Let us now review the objectives. Did we define the term main idea? I am sure 
all of you can tell me what that is. Did we use a variety of strategies to identify the main idea of a text? Yes, we did. There were several examples we looked at. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day.